Welcome to your first lesson on the private pilot flight training series and we'll be starting in the private pilot airplane airman certification standards. We're going to scroll down to the first topic which falls under pre-flight operations and the topic that we'll be covering today will be under FAA regulations 14 CFR part 61, 68, and 91. But today we're going to be re going over requirements for certification, recent flight experience, and record keeping. For the FAA regulations, we went online and we go to FAA.gov. If you go under regulations, FAA regulations, and today we'll be looking for the current Federal Aviation Regulations. And what we'll be looking for is 14 CFR Part 61. So the table for 61 is there. And we're looking for a certification of pilots, flight instructors, and ground instructors. And we're specifically looking for private pilots. So we have part 61, certification pilots, flight instructors, and ground instructors. As mentioned, we're going to cover requirements for certification, recent flight experience, and record keeping. I extracted a couple parts of part 61 that pertain to private pilots. So I extracted 61.2, exercise of privileges. 61.3 requirement for certificates ratings and authorizations and then i threw in some medical certificate information uh, for this certificate requirements under part 61.2 exercise of privilege it says no person may exercise privileges of a certificate rating endorsement or authorization issued under this part if the certificate rating or authorization is surrendered, suspended, revoked, or expired. Exercise privileges of medical certificate issued under Part 67 to meet any requirements of Part 61. If the medical certificate is surrendered, suspended, revoked, or expired according to the duration standards set forth in 61.23 Part D. You have to use an official government issued driver's license to meet any requirements of Part 61 related to holding that driver's license if the driver's license is surrendered, suspended, revoked, or expired. For currency, no person may exercise the privileges of an Aaron certificate, rating, endorsement, or authorization issued under this part unless their person meets the appropriate Aaron and medical recency requirements of this part specific to operation or activity. In the upcoming next video, we'll be covering 61.3 requirements for certificates, ratings, and authorizations, the requirements, some medical certificate information, and I have a little excerpt of instrument rating, but uh, that's just some extra added bonus. Thanks for joining today's lesson on 61 regulations with flight instructor Nick and we'll see you next lesson